taking the bike down to Switzerland in a couple of weeks. One thing I'm going to need on board is power. Charge my phone, my camera, things like that. I'm going to need a power socket on board. So today I'm going to install one of these. It's a cigarette lighter style power socket for the motorbike. Let me show you where I'm going to hook it up. So this is my normal view whilst I'm riding along. And as you can see, there's a gaping big hole right there. That's normally where the ignition switch would be, but I've put mine somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the cigarette lighter socket in that hole. But as you can see, it's a little bit loose. But that doesn't matter, I've got something to sort that out. What I've done is I've 3D printed this little collar that fits nice and snug in that hole. And then the power socket also fits nice and snug just like that obviously i would uh, orient it a bit better but that is what we're going for let's get it installed so we start by getting the seat off so we can access the batteries I'm also going to take the tank off just to make routing the cables a little bit easier. It's not really that important, but I'll do it anyway just to make a nice neat job rather than trying to poke through things through a little tiny hole. And this is the new wire for the power socket going on there. Do the same here with the negative cable. I'm actually thinking that these cables aren't going to be quite long enough. just going to make it but obviously you've got to account for the turning of the, the forks so I may have to extend those I will tie these to the existing wiring harness that's on here We'll poke them through, see if they reach. Right, on the small amount of wires that are exposed, I'm going to wrap around some of this um, wiring harness tape, just to give them a bit of a better look when they exit the side of the bike. Okay, so I've fed all the wires through. Now it's time to install the uh, the 3d printed part I've got some it's just some carpet adhesive uh, Evo stick which I'm just gonna spray around the edge of this just to let it adhere a bit better inside I don't think it's important but it uh, keep a nice seal around it that goes perfect I sprayed this with the uh, the glue as well just for fun really uh, it's not gonna have much effect so I'm pretty sure on that it's only carpet adhesive not made for this sort of thing at all but there we go that's it installed I'll hook up the wires 
and we check it works. I've actually decided to extend the wires a little bit. So I've got this much length extra now. Uh, before it was a bit too tight on the turn. So now it's just a case of hooking them up. So the positive goes on that one and the negative on that one. As you can see we've got ignition lights so let's test we've got power in the socket. So the positive on the centre point, negative on the outer shell and there we go 11.95 volts. Good enough. Perfect. So that's it, a nice 3D printed collar that will support that power socket and keep it nice and secure. Um, it's available on Thingiverse if you've moved your ignition switch and you'll fancy doing the same on your Bandit. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, if you wonder why I went with a power socket instead of a USB, it's mainly because that I can leave hooked up to the 12 volt all the time and not worry about it draining the battery. With the USB ones, they will bring the power down to 5 volt and that actually uses power to do that so you can't leave them constantly on you can put a switch on but then you've got to remember to switch it off and this way if i want usb i can just plug in one of those uh, little adapter things so that's it thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time